Hello and welcome to Giving Tuesday. Wow, we are excited. We're excited to have you. Uh, and we are so glad that you're here to join us. This is Giving Tuesday. I am Tammy McCartney, the Director of Special Events at Clackton University. I have the great honor of introducing our, our MC for today, our Master of Ceremonies, our facilitator, none other than Michael Flowers, class of 1996. Flowers is an award-winning executive producer, actor, writer, director, and entrepreneur. He listened carefully when his acting coach told him, if you want to be a good actor, get a life. All right. And with this in mind, he picked up his ADHD and he moved from Maryland to LA 16 years ago to pursue his craft. All the while, he was collecting diverse life experiences experiences that have given him rich stories, compelling characters, and great artistic depth. Besides his extensive work in the entertainment industry, Flowers has been a teacher, motivational speaker, licensed massage therapist, loan officer, photographer, certified personal trainer, and barber. He has spent time in places throughout the U.S. and beyond, and he's been through various circles and cultures. Further honing in on his sense of perspective and constantly adding to his cachet of stories. So here's a story that uh, I tell you, Michael Flowers' life is really just so artistic and it's so in-depth. He has produced and co-produced the live TV show, Heaven Sent, which was a broadcast on Fox and live streamed internationally on YouTube as a pay-per-view event. So the show features Luke, Luke Akins jumping out of a plane from 20,000 feet. I, I mean, and the list goes on. This event earned a Guinness Book of World Records. And so he was also, he co-produced Black Lives Matter. This was even before all, all of this happened. And that was in 2016 and was called Bigger Than Us. So you've seen him. He's done a lot. He has content and song and music videos. Uh, which revolved around police brutality and racial injustice. That aired on NBC, on TNT. Uh, and that was during the Martin Luther King Day. Also, Flowers is an early pioneer in the branded entertainment space with his contributions to BBDO's Snickers hit streaming show, Instant Def, which starred the Black Eyed Peas and Terry Cues. Terry Crews, I'm sorry, Crews, I know him. Gatorade streaming sports and entertainment platform, missingg.com. Now, guess what? He has a recurring role on Double Cross. He's the chief of police. That's on Urban Movie Channel. Okay, when we talk about folks that he's been around, legendary people, I mean, talk about all oh, funk me, Jimmy Smith and Jesse Dillon. You've got Bootsy Collins, The Roots choreographer for the 2007 Academy Awards for Timo Robinson and is currently being pitched to various networks. So this is the all funk me. Now I can tell you so much. There's so much he's produced. He's been all over the world. He's traveled. And guess what? He's a Claflin grad. And he said he's coming today to help us with raising this money for Giving Tuesday. So I want to Without further ado, because he received his BA in English from Claflin, he said, in a hustle and bustle of living the life as an artist, I have found a passion in the art of storytelling. As a filmmaker, my personal ambition is to find ways to use my talent to heal lives and to bring laughter and entertainment into homes all across the world. So none other than... Let's give him a big hand for Mr. Michael Flowers. Come on up, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still repping. I'm still repping at Claflin University, Tammy. <laughs> yes. Thanks so much, Mike. Oh, my pleasure. Today we are rocking also with DJ Fat Boy. So I'm excited about today. Today, Claflin University will raise $50,000 or more through its Claflin Give Tuesday campaign for need-based student scholarships through the Claflin Fund. So we want you to invest your financial resources in a Claflin University student. Now your gift of $10,000, $1,000, $100, $25, or at any level will just help us reach our goal of $50,000 or more today. 
So we are on Facebook and YouTube from 12 to 2 p.m. with yours truly, Michael Flowers Jr. I am a 96, like she said, I'm a 1996 graduate, graduate. And then from five to seven, we will be with Jay Dukes, who graduated in 2010, as we host our, uh, our live Giving Tuesday event on Facebook and YouTube with music by my man, Fat Boy, who graduated, DJ Fat Boy, who graduated in 2003. So we, we ain't got nothing else but clapping graduates over here. Um, now, so there are several ways that you can give, but, and this is one, just, I want you to go to justgiving.com backslash campaign backslash Claflin Fund Drive 2020. Like, like 2020 vision. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. Justgiving.com backslash campaign backslash Claflin Fund Drive 2020. So let's get ready to give. Let's get ready to give people. So right now, I, what I wanna do is I want to um, introduce another Claflin grad and a friend of mine. Um, every, I'm sure you know him. Uh, so I'm gonna introduce my man, my friend, Marcus Burgess, who graduated in 1996. Right now, he's the interim VP of in Institutional Advancement. So is, uh, is Marcus around? Well, we, uh, Marcus is coming in, but we, I want you to go ahead and introduce Zelda Lee, our alumni director. Oh, this is great, this is great. I have the pleasure, the pleasure to introduce Ms. Zelda M. Lee, who graduated in 77 but she looks like she's like 25. Um, she is the annual fund and alum, alumni director. So give it up, give it up for Ms. Lee. Greetings alumni, friends and supporters. My name is Zelda M. Lee, the director of alumni relations and the annual fund and a 1977 graduate of Claflin University. I would like to thank you for joining us today on this great Giving Tuesday. I hope that we can count on you today during these challenging times for the students that we serve who may have limited resources. So we thank you in advance for your support to Claflin University. You have many ways you can give and we will share that today throughout the program. Our goal today is to raise 50 thousand dollars and i know that we can do this so next coming to the stage will be the sga president mr markwell sanders class of 2021 mr markwell sanders we just got a call from Markwell, and he is coming on to join us in a little bit. So we're going to keep the show moving. Mr. Flowers, come on back. Back, and I'm happy to be back. Okay, so so we're going to put a pause on um, for for him. So are we introducing uh, my friend uh, Marcus Burgess or? Uh, let's see. In the meantime, hey, I know you guys are proud of your alumni. I, I, I have my cup, so you know I'm proud of, you know, I've had this cup for probably, I'll say maybe like eight years now, and it doesn't even look like it. Look, look brand new, right? And I use it, all right? I use it almost every day. So, uh, yeah, so I'm proud of my alumni. Um, uh, I'm not sure what we're doing right now, because I can keep talking. I can keep talking about my, my alumni, right? We, we are, one thing I'm proud about is, so when, when, I, when I left Claflin uh, in, in around 96, um, I left, and uh, I'm getting all these text messages. I, I, left, I left Claflin, and um, you know, Dr. Tisdale was at the helm, and I was so proud. And right now, we have, we have our new president, and he's kicked things up even further. Right now, we are, it, it, we are in the top ten of colleges of universities all around the country. That's why I'm still proud of my alma mater. 
Claflin University. That's why I'm still proud. So we are going to move the show. I think they are giving me some cues to, to move along. Okay, he's on. All right. So Markel is on. I would love this opportunity to introduce my man, Markel. Markel, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. How That's are you? good. Mr. Sanders, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hello, everyone. My name is Marco Sanders. I serve as the SGA president here at Claflin University. Um, giving back to Claflin University is something that started, you know, years ago by our alumni, and we would like to continue on with that legacy. Today is Giving Tuesday, and we challenge you to give 50000 well, a total up to $50,000 to our dear university. This will, you know, help uh, students in the long run um, that, that, are need, that are in need of scholarships or may, or may be in need of opportunities. So give back to Claflin University, and... We would like to see you do it. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Well, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so right now uh, we, we're going to need you to, to to give to to look in your pocket, look in your bank account. Look, there's there's there is no such thing as a small donation. We need all your support. So, and we are, we really appreciate it because uh, today we are going to reach at, we're going to reach at least fifty thousand dollars so that we can give back to some of the people that are now in school. Cause I know you guys remember when you were in school and you, and you remember what it was like being in school and not having any money. And for, for, for us to reach out and give back is something huge and something that we would definitely appreciate. Okay, so um, right now, I think we're gonna um, have Fat Boy to kick, up, kick some music up and, and, and do his thing. DJ Fat Boy. DJ Fat Boy. Call him DJ Fat Boy. What's up? What's up? Hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. What year did you graduate? I graduated 2003. 2003. So yeah. I wasn't even, I was I had just left. I, you know, I might have met you because I used to come back every now and then and, and talk to uh, the, the classes. Okay. Yeah. So, so what was your experience like at, at Claflin University? Yeah, it it was a great experience. Um, when I first got there, I was on the basketball team, uh, played for Gus Godden. Um, also oh, was did. in the mass comm department. So shout out to everybody that went to Claflin that was in the mass comm department. And hey, that basically guided me to where I'm at now. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Where, 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 where do you live now? I'm actually in Columbia, South Carolina right now. Columbia, South Carolina. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Okay. So see, you see, see guys? Now, let me ask you a question. When you were in school, were you broke when you were in school then? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, <now. laughs> did you get care packages? Like you know what I'm saying, sardines, cookies. Hey, well, oodles and noodles, whatever, whatever you can get by with, that's what you did. Hey man, listen, listen. I, I got oodles and noodles. I got a bunch of cookies. I got sardines because man, those were hard times, ladies and gentlemen. Those are hard times. Oh yeah. Uh, so. Okay, so you're, 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 uh, you're, you're, you, you, you graduated with the MassCom? Yeah, MassCom. So you, you were with Dr. Uh, Miss Kelly? Yeah, Miss Kelly was there, Dr. Jernigan, um, Mr. Farewell, um, trying to think of some of the other professors, but yeah, those were like the main ones that were there when I was there. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, so we are going to introduce right now uh, we're going to introduce Dr. Derek Swinton. Now, Dr. Swinton is the Dean of Natural Science and Mathematics. Dr. Swinton, you are on. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thanks for having me, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here speaking to you all. And um, why it's important to give to uh, Claflin University, in, in particular, the School of Natural Science and Mathematics, is that we have some really outstanding programs ongoing here um, at Claflin University as well. Some really top-notch students who are um, entering um, programs uh, that are prestigious in terms of grad school, med school programs. And our intent is to, uh, uh, you know, support those efforts, continue to support those efforts. And, um, you know, just give the students a chance, to, um, an a chance and opportunity to uh, pursue their endeavors. And so Claflin, as, as you know, Claflin University is ranked, highly ranked in, as one of the top 10 HBCUs. And our goal is make sure we uh, are maintaining that status and, and more so maybe moving up into the top uh, five, uh, you know, so why not? And so we believe that, um, you know, these efforts are achievable and uh, that your support um, would help us get there. And so, um, 
I've been here at Claflin University for uh, four years. And one thing I do know is that there's a proud alumni base and uh, who are always willing to give uh, to Claflin University. And so I'm encouraging everyone out there who are uh, who's listening to this uh, this uh, event, this broadcast to, um, you know, continue uh, giving uh, to Claflin University. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you, Mr. Swinton. Um, uh, what, what school did you graduate from? Oh, boy. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm putting so you on the spot. Okay, okay. So uh, <laughs> I can brag about it, but um, I'm an a alum of Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, um, one of the first HBCUs, right, as we brag at, uh, okay. to be uh, at Lincoln University. So, yeah, I'm a proud alum of Lincoln University in Pennsylvania. Okay. So so tell me about your college experience, because because I want, I want people out there, because I, I know when when we think about Claflin, we reminisce about uh, you know how it was back in the day, and we talk about how broken we were, how we had to put, had to, you know, for me, I had to go to dorm to dorm when I was when I wasn't, you know, when I was when I was broke, I went to dorm to dorm. Hey man, you got you got five dollars. So so what was your experience, your overall experience? So not just not just not having money, but what was your overall your overall experience? I wouldn't trade my experience at an HBCU for, for, for anything uh, in this world. I had a really good experience. Um, it was a really uh, nurturing environment that I was in. Mm -hmm. um, I was exposed and uh, provided a lot of opportunities to excel. And um, there was a, a strong uh, partnerships and collaborations amongst faculty mm -hmm. and, uh, and the students. Um, and so a memorable experience. If you talk about money, yeah, it was it was it was challenging back then. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> um, we we had three television channels in our dormitory, and we had to use a payphone. So yes, always ten to fifteen people just waiting to use a payphone. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. But again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Oh ever. my goodness, you know that's true. I re I remember that very very clearly. But one thing one thing you just said that rings true with me. As far as you know, I, I I couldn't have asked for a better school, but then I couldn't have asked for like that that love you get from a small black college. You know That's what right. I mean? That's right. Um, because you 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 get personal. Uh, it, you know, being at a small black college, you have personal attention. You know what I mean? And so I remember um, I was supposed to hand in um, my thesis and. Uh, Miss Tisdale will come to me and say, um, "So, Mike, um, so what are you? Are you gonna are you gonna hand in your thesis? Um, it's you know everybody is talking about it. You know you know what I mean. Right. And so, it's, and people don't care that much if you're at a bigger university. You know you're a number, but here at Claflin, I can t I can tell you right now, I was I was more than uh, I wasn't a number. Yeah, that's you right. know what I mean. That's right. That's um, right. Talk 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 to me about what's new." here um, in your department? Oh, so we have some really exciting things going on in our department. Um, we just received, um, we're, we're part of a partnership with the University of Delaware. So they have this uh, Materials Research Science Education Center. It's an $18 mm -hmm. grant and Claflin University is a partner of that. And so they've guaranteed six of our students opportunities to pursue research at the mm -hmm. uh, University of Delaware and some of the uh, national labs fully paid $5,000 summer internships for eight weeks. So that's um, one of the exciting things there. Um, um, one of the things also that happening is um, we have a $700,000 grant that was spare led by um, our president, um, Pr President Warmack. Um, that money was received from the Savannah River nuclear site and that money will be used to uh, provide uh, scholarships, $10,000. Uh, scholarships to our computer science students. So there are really some exciting things here. We're growing. We're actually at the point where we need more space, okay, <laughs> because our, our research, our faculty here are bringing in lots of dollars and they um, bring in state of the wow. art. Wow. And so our students are getting hands-on experience with this uh, state of art equipment. And, and this, you know, this is providing them opportunity to have those workforce development skills that people are uh, coveting. Yeah, and that's what that's what it's about. It's about getting opportunities, you know, here to learn. But then, then when you go out into the world, you can go out into the world and and affect the world with all the stuff that you that you received at this at this institution, of higher learning, mm -hmm. Claflin yeah. University. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you know, when I bring my guests here, they're always surprised of the types of equipment we have, 
um, the, the types of equipment we have, you expect those to, uh, you'll find those at larger institutions. But this opportunity has been afforded by support, again, from the Claflin alumni base. Yeah, that's, that, and, and, that's, and that's the reason why we're here today asking for alumni support. So we can start, we can do more stuff like this. Mm -hmm. you know, keep, keep getting the up-to-date um, technology so our students can go on and, and further themselves out into the workforce. So thank you so much, Derek Swinton, for uh, for for uh, for coming on and, uh, and and talking to uh, our alumni. Yep, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Enjoy your All day. All right, and hey, you too, now. Good All seeing right. you. All right. So right now, I have the the pleasure to introduce um, a a student, and her name is Majela. She is Majela Page. She's she's going to graduate in 2021. Majela, hello. I've heard, I'm great. Look, I've heard so much about you, and I'm oh, not wow. even joking. I'm not even joking. Wow, to God be the glory. I hope good things. Yes. No good things. No, all good things. All good things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So take it away. The floor is yours. Tis the season for greetings and giving. Uh, my name is Majela Page. I am a senior biology major at the illustrious Claflin University from Latta, South Carolina. And I aspire to become a pediatric cardiologist. But uh, I need two things. I need time and money. I need time to go to college and I need money to actually go. Well, through this, uh, I actually had the opportunity to attend Claflin University and it was through generous uh, alumni giving that I was able to attend Claflin and throughout my matriculation, I was able to travel to China. I was able to be Miss UNCF, Miss Pre-Alumni. I joined the concert choir and the pep band. So God has been faithful and has opened so many doors while I was here. So please alumni, please know that this is not just uh, let's give to our alma mater. This is a time and an opportunity for you to invest in future visionaries and tomorrow's leader. Oh, now you see what I'm saying? This right here, you said you said you, you're gonna you're doing what? You you're gonna be a cardi cardiologist? Yes, sir. I want to be a pediatric cardiologist. Okay, I'm upset that she said sir, ladies and gentlemen. I am upset because she said sir, but um, because I, I, I don't see any gray right here. But whatever. No, no, no. no. It's, no it's, it's okay. I, I appreciate the respect. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, but seriously, they, they, they were saying how amazing you are and just listening to all the stuff that you're involved in uh, right now, knowing what, you're, what you want to do with your future. That's huge. And so what you said to me was, was, was big because, yes, we need people to see not just the college, but the people that they are investing in. Yes, sir. And that's what it's about. That's what today okay. is all about. There's more people out there that are just, you know, actually embarking on journeys and exactly. having opportunities. So please know that it's not just me. There's a lot of other people that you can invest in today. Yeah. Thank you so much, Majela. Now, oh, we really appreciate you coming by and 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 um, using big words like matric matriculation. You see that? You think she's uh, big brain on Majela? Big brain on Majela. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye now. All right. So right now, we're, we're going to move the show along. Um, and I want to I want to um, introduce you to the Dean of Education. Uh, the Dean of Education is Dr. Anthony Pittman. Um, there you go. Hello. Hello, Doctor. Good afternoon. How are you, Mr. Flowers? I'm doing fine. Good to see you. Likewise. Thank you. So, so um, uh, I hear that you are the Dean of Education. So I guess you want to talk to our, our uh, uh, fellow alumni? Prepared some remarks, if that's okay. Okay. Can I share those? So good day, ladies and gentlemen. As has been mentioned, my name is Anthony A. Pittman. And I have the distinct pleasure of serving as the Dean and Professor of Education at the illustrious Claflin University's School of Education. Dr. Maya Angelou, the late Dr. Angelou said to us on one occasion, 
No one should go through life with mittens on both hands as a catcher. At some point, one should be able to throw something back. Today, your gifts, great or small, will make impactful differences in the lives of our scholars here in the Claflin University School of Education. Students are in need of scholarships, preparatory testing supplies, and other technological resources that will ultimately benefit them in their quest to become educators and health and wellness professionals. Having given myself today, I would not ask of you to give. And so I ask that you would follow my lead. Would you please give and give in the most impactful of ways? Your gifts will be greatly appreciated by Claflin University School of Education and our students in general. Thank you so much. So it looks it looks like we're getting ready to go. Thank you so much, Dr. Pittman. My pleasure. Thank you. Hey, have a good day now. And you too, Mr. Flowers. All right. Hi, you too. So we just had Dr. Pittman. Um, uh, now what we're going to do, uh, he was the Dean of Education again. Uh, I, I see we, we're going to our comments. We have Peggy Logan. I went to school with Peggy Logan. This is great. Um, what's up, Peggy? Uh, Peggy was a, um, <laughs> so, as, as we call each other twins. Oh, Deneen. I went to school with Deneen. Um, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Greetings to my class and university family. And that's one thing that we are. We are family and we, we really address each other. You, you guys should, I mean, the homecoming is like one big family reunion. Hey, Crystal, Crystal's in the house. This is cool. Um, we are, we are like one big happy family. And so when we get together, you know, be it on Zoom, like yesterday was uh, Daquanda's birthday. And so a lot of us, the president, Adam, just a whole bunch of people got on and we celebrated one of our Claflin alums. Um, and so, uh, oh, Thelma, Thelma Watson, good afternoon, good afternoon. Uh, so this is, this, is, this is really touching to see. Janice, hey Janice. Uh, this is really touching to see all the family here. Um, Debbie, hello, Debbie. Good to see you. All right, so right now we're going to bring in um, we're going to bring in Miss Bessie Bird. Um, I want to introduce uh, a 1972 graduate, uh, Miss Bessie Bird. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Oh man, I'm doing all right. Good, good to I'm see wonderful, you. Wonderful, wonderful. Good to see your paraphernalia. Yes, all right now. <laughs> got it. Got the hat. Got Looking the good. Looking good. See it? I see the smile. I see the smile. This is the biggest day. Yes, yes, indeed. That's all right now. I'm ready. <laughs> I love my HBCU. Oh man, bless you. I'm ex bless so excited. <laughs> So, so talk to talk to the people and, and tell them why it's so important. And then you can even talk about your experience um, here at Claflin. Um, you graduated in 72, which was the year I was born. So it was the actual best year that you graduated. I don't know where you got that false information from, but I'll accept it. Okay, so wait. But anyway. No, no, no. no. Anyway, I know. Uh, I'm delighted. I, I'm always in, inspired to give to Claflin University because it is the number one HBCU in the United States of America and abroad. Yes. And I give to Claflin University because I like to see other deserving qualified young students that have the mm -hmm. same opportunity that I was given and to especially to pursue their college education and their lifelong goal. And uh, at this time, I surely would love to make a gift of $500 to help a deserving student majoring in mathematics here at Claflin University. So I'm challenging the class of 1972. You know what to do. Ah, the go. challenge is on. <laughs> Don't fake it. 
Do it now. Give your gift to Claflin University today. Man, you are not about talk. You are walking the walk. I'm all about visionary leadership. And those That's are the right. kinds of students that we envision here at Claflin University. They are all leaders. And leaders. I want to be a part of that. Yes, yes. You know, because people remember the people that gave, that came back and gave back to them. You know what I mean? People have stories about the people that, that invested in their future. And I think that's huge for you to do something like that. So well, thank you so much. Giving is, I, I tell you this, giving is in my DNA. Oh, I love Seth Claflin so much to anytime somebody called me, I'm ready to pull out my wallet because that's who I am. That's beautiful. And, and, That's and, and beautiful. I don't mind I don't mind expressing it boldly any day. 24-7. Okay. People don't have to ask what great institution I'm from. They That's know. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So I'm gonna make sure I call you. You said uh, you, you gonna give money, what'd you say? I need you let me get your number right quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I'm talking, I'm talking, Whatever I can talking. do to help, I'll do it. Oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. So, so just to be clear, you said you're giving to uh, somebody that, that is a math major at Claflin. Exactly. I am a math okay. major. Oh, okay. 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 Look at you. Look at you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Mrs. Bird. We really appreciate you. And good to Thank see all your perfect now, yeah. Your paraphernalia, your, 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 your orange and maroon. I see That's you. Right. I see you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Looking you good. Know, Looking you good. know it. You know it. My classmates know what to do. That's right. That's right. They, 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 are, they, are, they are number one in giving. That's right. That's really? That's what's yes. up. That's, that's My class know what to do. I'm always, because see, see when, you, when you got a bold leader, you know, you got some followers. And I don't mind being bold. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank and you I'm so much. I'm not shy about giving gifts. Oh, we really appreciate that. We really appreciate that. Okay. All thank right. You. Thank you so. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, you're quite welcome. All right. Uh, Hope to see you soon. Once, if once... I had a million dollars, I'll give it all to Claflin. Oh, ma. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You're quite welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We just had Miss Bessie Bird. You heard what she said. She is all about action. She's all about giving back to her alma mater. She's all about giving more specifically to students that are in need, students that have vision, students that believe that they can do something. So don't, 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 don't hesitate. Please understand that you are changing lives. So right now we're gonna go to Chelsea. Uh, we have Chelsea backstage. Uh, she she graduated in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Williams. Hi everyone. My name is Chelsea Williams, and I am a graduate um, of class of the class of 2019. So I'm a recent wow. Kathleen graduate. Um, I bring you greetings from the West Coast this morning. Um, Wait a minute, West Coast, West Coast. Where are you? I am in San Diego right now. San Diego. Um, I'm actually a teacher in Washington, D.C., but I um, came over to the West Coast to help out a family member. So I have been uh, here. And so I bring you greetings from the West Coast. Um, but that's not what this is about. Uh, this today is about giving back to our university. Um, and I, while I was at Claflin, was very involved in a lot of extracurricular activities, a lot of organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that I'm most proud of, that I was a member of the illustrious Alice Carson Tisdale Honors College. And in the words of the late, great Miss Alice Carson Tisdale, to whom much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. And I was given so much as a student at Claflin. Um, I was grateful to have um, almost gone on a full scholarship. I actually only had about $4,000 in debt um, when I graduated, which has all been paid off. And that couldn't have been possible uh, without the gifts of those um, alum who have given to the university. And so 
as a member of the class of 2019, I am grateful to be here and in the season of gratitude. Um, I and my fiance, who was also a graduate of the 2019 class, are pledging $250 um, to the university. And we challenge um, the rest of our class, the best class 2019, to follow our uh, challenge and pledge what you can. Um, my fiance's name is um, Agbai Okoronkwo, and so he is also a part of this pledge. And I also would be remiss if I did not shout out one of my um, late professors, uh, Miss Linda Hill, who recently oh. pledged one of the largest contributions that um, a staff of past or current staff member has ever uh, pledged. And so I also want to put this in her name because I was also a consultant at the Writing Center. I was very involved and we appreciate everything that Claflin has done for us. Um, and we're grateful to give back. Wow, thank you so much. That was really sweet. You were, you, you were giving so much and then you said, you know what? I didn't forget where I came from. And that's huge for you and your husband. Fiance, but thank you. Oh, fiance, well, same difference. <laughs> it's going down, it's gonna happen. I know, right. <laughs> right, right, right. So yeah, so thank you so much. Uh, so she's putting, out, she's putting out a challenge to everybody that graduated in 2019. You see what she's doing with her life. She's over there chilling in San Diego and she's giving two, what, $200. So, uh, so, so again, thank you so much. So we're getting ready to, uh, we're getting ready to bring up DJ Fat Boy to play some tunes. DJ Fat Boy is kicking it backstage, enjoying all the music, you know what I'm saying, to himself, and now he's gonna share with us. DJ Fatboy on the set right now on this given Tuesday. Let's go. Whenever I'm down, I call on you, my friend. A helping hand you have in my time of need. So I'm calling you now just to make it through. What else can I do? Don't you hear my plea? Friends may come and friends may go. But you should know that, that I've got your back. It's automatic, so never hesitate to go. Cause I'm your sister, and always go. Please make, you, make sure y'all continue to send them gifts. Let's get it. For Montana Hilliard, just get the twenty-five dollars from Next Top Five. No more, love without a limit. Love without a limit. Said I'm loving you, 
That's not the William Blue, class of 73. Just get this $500 from Kalpa Alpha Psi fraternity. You know you know, baby. I'm in need of your love. And you got that touch that I need. Monica Williams, she just gets it $100. Oh, really? Completely. Everything you want, I'll be. Good love down to the last drop. And I am not going to stop. No, no, Let's keep them no, gifts coming. We trying to reach fifty thousand. Let's go. Don't you look no more. Take my hand and follow me. Say I'm loving you, loving you every day. I'm loving you, boy. Don't you look no more. Now without a minute, you know. Shout out to everybody that already gifted. Make sure you challenge your class, fraternity, or sorority. Every little bit counts. We're trying to reach 50,000. Tag a friend, make sure you share, let them know it's giving Tuesday. Shouts out to Colonel Tony Miminger, class of 80. Just get to the thousand dollars, and he's a member of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. Make sure y'all keep those gifts coming. You gotta reach 50,000. It could be everything 
You need to know how to give, just look at the bottom of the screen. You can go online or you can phone in. Tuesday. Make sure you tag all your alumni and let them know. We're trying to say number one. The goal is 50,000. It's giving Tuesday. Make sure you keep them gifts coming. DJ Fat Boy on the set, clapping little on my eyes very young. Things first, I pop them. freaks all the honey, dummies, playboy bunnies, those wanting money. Those the ones I like, cause they don't get Nathan but penetration. Unless it smells like sanitation. Garbage, I turn like doorknobs. Heart throb never. Black and ugly as ever. However, I say Gucci down to the socks. Rings and watch filled with rocks. Uh, and my jam not in the Mitsubishi. Girl, peepee when they see me, never. Creep me in they TP uh, as I lay down laws like Island Coppin. Stop uh, it. If you think they're gonna make a profit, don't see my ones, don't see my guns. Get it? Now tell your friends, Papa, hit it, uh, then split it in two as I flow with the junior mafia. Uh, I don't know what the hell stopping ya. I'm clocking ya. Versace shade watching ya. Once you grin, I'm in game begin. Uh, first, I talk about how I dress is this and diamond necklaces. Stretch Lexus is the sex is just immaculate. From the back, I get deep. Deeper and deeper, help you reach the climax that your man can't make. Call him, tell him you'll be home real late and sing the break. Uh. I got that good love, girl, you didn't know. Uh. I got that good love, girl, you didn't know. Uh. I got that good love, girl, you Bars ain't gold gates. Those who fake, they break. When they meet their 400 pound mate, if I could fool the world, everyone would have a gun in together, of course. We get the up and on their horse. Kick around, drink and move the shot. I pour a sip on the con. It's given to us. Raise the funds for scholarship. Make sure you keep them gifts coming. That I did last week. Tag your class. Tag your fraternity sorority. 
Cause from here to Baghdad Gun blast, think fast, I think I'm hit My girl pinched my hips He plays sports, make sure you tag your former teammate I'll send a letter to my friends A born again hooligan, only to be king again Ready or not, here I come You can't hide I'm gonna find you and take it slowly Ready or not, oh, here I come, you can't hide I'm gonna find you and then yo, you yo, want yo. me Imagine smoking weed in the street without cops harassing Imagine going to court with no trial Lifestyle cruising blue Bahama waters No welfare supporters More conscious of the way we raise our daughters Days are shorter, nights are colder Feeling like life is over These snakes strike like a cobra The world's hot, my son got knocked Evidently, it's elementary They want us all gone eventually Trooping out of state for a plate Knowledge, if coke was cooked without the garbage We'd all have the top dollars Imagine everybody flashing Fashion, designer clothes Lacing your clique up with diamond rolls, your people holding dough, no parole, no rubbers, going raw, imagine law with no undercovers, just some thoughts for the mind, I take a glimpse into time, watch the blimp read, the world is mine, I imagine that, I free all my sons, I love them, love them, baby, black diamonds and pearls. Could it be, if you could be mine, we both shine If I rule the world Still living for today, in these last days And to it is me, paradise life relaxing Black, Latino, and Anglo-Saxon The money exchange, the range, cash Lord, tribe, and bass. free at last Brand new whips to crash, then we laugh In the illa path, the villa houses for the crew How we do, trees for breakfast Dime sexes have been stretches So many years of depression make me vision The better living, type of place to raise kids in Open the eyes to the lies, history's told foul But I'm as wise is the old owl plus the gold child seeing things like I was controlling click rolling tricking six digits on kicks and still holding trips to Paris I civilize every savage give me one shot I turn tripe life to lavish political prisoner set free stress free no work release purple and threes and jet skis fill the wind breeze in West Indies I think Coretta Scott King mayor of the cities and reverse things to Willie's it sound foul but every girl I meet to go downtown I'd open every cell in Attica send them to Africa imagine that well, it's giving Tuesday. I'm trying to see which class gonna give the most today. We trying to reach fifty thousand. Could it be if you could be mine, we both shine. Still living for today. In the Ferrari and Jaguar, switching four lanes on top down, screaming out money in the bank. Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings with the window crack, holla back, money in the bank. Jigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam, gleam in the hell with the price, but the money in the bank. Put it down hard for my dogs that's locked in the bank. When you hit the bricks, new whips, money ain't a thing. Come on. Yeah, I want to floss with us. Come on. All across the board, we burn it up. You drop a little paper, baby, toss it up. Slacking on your pimpin', turn it up. See the money in the bank. Flex the road, sign a check for your Jigga style is love, X and O Save all your accolades, just the dough My game is wide, all names aside Trying to stay alive, hundred thou for the bracelet Foolish ain't out of chain to strain your eye Twin platinum, sun aim for the sky Ice on my as soon as I pull it Willies wanna rub shoulders, your money's too young See me when it gets older, your bank account grow up Mine says one zero 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 old up Damn near out the rear trunk when I roll up Motai till I close up it's all basic. I've been spending hundreds since they had small faces. Yeah. Rob your stash out, doubled out down in Vegas. Me and JD got it locked crazy. Where Ferrari you at, haters? Jaguar switching four lanes. Uh-huh. With the top down, screaming out money in the thing. Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings with the window crack. Holla back, money in the thing. Nigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam. Gleam in the hell with uh-huh. the price, but the money in the thing. Put it down hard for my dogs that's locked in the bing. When you hit the bricks, new whip, money ain't a thing. Y'all wanna floss with us? Cause all across the board, we Burn it up, drop a little paper, baby, toss it up. Slack it on your pimpin', turn it up. Out, 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 out. You got a hundred dollar bill, you take your hands up. You got a fifty dollar bill, you take your hands up. You got a twenty dollar bill, you take your hands up. You got a ten dollar bill, you take your hands up. Single ladies, I can't hear y'all. Single ladies, big dogs. Single ladies, I can't hear y'all. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never 
had someone to show me a love. Make sure y'all keep sending them gifts. We're trying to get the 50,000. Now that we have come to be a brand new life, I can't see. Never thought you'd be a special part of me. No, baby. The reasons are because of you I can go on and make it through I can't even take my mind off loving you And I wanna say I never, never knew there was ever a love like this before a love like this Someone to show me a love. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I like this. I'll make it all tonight. Let me make love to you for the last time, baby. Put a cherry shoe like the last, 'cause baby, you're a better half. So just in case. In the power we made love. Almost anywhere, haven't I taken you? Almost everywhere. Think of all the things that that we shared in the matter to me, not there. Oh, 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 oh. Even if you won't count us in the rain, got a treat in my mind. We trying to give a gift. Make sure you call 803-535-5357. Or you can text 844-596-3403. Just in case, 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 DJ Fat Boy is in the building. Uh, all the songs on you requested, you're dancing like you're naked. Oh, it's almost like we're sexing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boo, I like it. No, I can't deny it. But I know you can tell I'm excited. Oh, girl. Step back and dance and come across. I feel a little cool coming through. On you. Now, girl, one time for the class of 05, one time for the class of 95, no, class of 89, me. and the class of no, 97. No, giving them gifts, let's go. Ooh. Baby, when we're crying, oh, yeah. I get so excited. Let's keep it coming, oh, we gotta get the 50,000. Oh, real. I'm trying, but I keep fighting. Yes. Oh, get this in real class. Oh, 
Giving tools to keep them gifts coming. You know the goal, the goal is 50,000. Let's go. Gonna get the most gifts today. Keep those gifts coming. We gotta reach fifty thousand. I'ma show you how to move Come girl, Mr. DJ, some funny replay Mr. DJ, won't you turn the music up? I'll lick your fun, they dance for wanting some more Listen, Mr. DJ, won't you turn the music up? Come Mr. DJ, some funny replay Mr. DJ, won't you turn the music up? I'll lick your fun, they dance for wanting some more Listen, Mr. DJ, won't you turn the music up? 
Give it to you, man. Make sure you show your love to the students of Clapham University. Give that gift. We're trying to reach 50,000 today. We're doing this from 12 to 7. DJ Fatboy on the set right now. I'm trying to see which class going to give the most. Let's go. For handling bras, all I need is me a few seconds few more. Seconds and it's a wrap. Tell the lady to bring my lap, and I ain't coming back, so you can put a car right there. Right I'm right the right truth, and they ain't got nothing to prove. And you can ask anybody, cause they seem to do it. Barricades, I run right through them, I'm used to them. Throw all the dirt you want, no deal. Still won't have a pent up in a fabulous room. Bone her back, picking out a basket of fruit. I love you, boy. Yeah, freaking Petey, love you too. <laughs> you know how I do Thanks so much. Thanks so much, DJ Fat Boy, DJ Fat Boy. And thank you to Claflin. You guys, I mean, I was seeing all these names that I recognize. Yo, this was this was this really felt good. I don't wanna I wanna point out so many people that gave, but I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. Right now, we're gonna bring up um uh one of our alums. A guy by the name of Hezekiah Hayes, he graduated in 1975. Um, there he goes right there. Hello, Mr. Hayes. Hey, how you doing? I'm great, good to see you. Great, great. Well, I, I tell you, I graduated 1975. Uh -huh. And from there, I, you know, I'm retired Navy and retired federal government. I was, uh, Claflin gave me the opportunity to go, you know, Navy OCS, and then I worked as a financial analyst, management analyst for the federal government. But today is an outstanding time to donate to Claflin. Claflin is, in my opinion, the greatest university on the planet, and we want to keep it there. So Claflin needs money to maintain our status. But what I, you know, when you graduated from Claflin, it gave you the opportunity to go wherever you wanted to go. A lot of people say, well, I graduated from this and such with a PhD and all these other degrees. But Claflin gave you that foundation and you were able to get into law school medical school, 
get that PhD and a lot of other disciplines, become engineers, and just a little gratitude to Claflin is to give back because without that education, you would not have gotten where you are today. You hear me? Without Claflin, you would have not gotten where you are today. Yeah, you could have gone to an Ivy League school. Yeah, you could have gone to a whole these other places, but you didn't. You went to Claflin, and that allowed you to get where you are today. I'm a senior citizen, retired, but I'm living comfortably. And without having gone to Claflin, I don't know where I would have been today. Mm -hmm. Give me that opportunity. And I'm asking everybody in the class of 75 to donate anywhere from a dollar to $10 for every year since we graduated. That's starting at $45 up to $450. Please, that's the least that we can do. You don't, if you don't want, you give what you can or what you wish. But I'm just saying, give at least that. I will probably give a little more, but give at least $10 for what, for each year. And you will feel better for it. The students at Claflin will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Staff, the president, everybody at Claflin will benefit from your donation as you have today and in the past. Great school, and I wish everybody had the opportunity to have gone to Claflin. Unfortunately, we don't have the capacity, but they would all, <laughs> they, they, they would all be better for it had they gone to Claflin. Had they gone to Claflin, they would be a heck of a lot better. Oh, than man. And that's, and that's what I feel. And, and I am proud to have be an alumni and proud to have gone to Claflin. And I, I'm sure that everybody who has matriculated on the yard at Claflin feels the same way. Yeah, absolutely right. Great experience. So give a little something showing your appreciation for that experience, please. You know, <clears throat> you said you said something that, uh, that I, I can definitely relate to because you talked about support and I know financially, without, without financial support, because what, what, cause what we're talking about, we're talking about investing in uh, the people that are that set Claflin now, the people that are coming, but we, we are talking about investing in the lives of the people, the leaders that are gonna go off into the world. And so there's nothing like having that, that kind of support, you know? Absolutely. The because, visionaries that Claflin send through the doors, that's what right. it's all about. And, you know, a lot of people who come to Claflin are financially challenged. I was when I went there. You know, so we need, because we have been successful, we need to give a little something back. Exactly. And get through the doors, and they will, in turn, give back. And Claflin will continue to be the best university on the planet, bar none. Exactly. You can name all these other places with all the Ivy and whatever, Claflin. You didn't go there. You went to Claflin. So support where you went. That's right. Show your appreciation. That's and right. Students at Claflin now, show them now that you want to help them because you want them to share the same success that you have. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, oh, Mr. Hayes. It, it has been absolutely a pleasure. And I could talk for an hour. And, and, and I'll tell you where I currently live. I wear my Ta Claflin t-shirt, shirt, sweatshirt. Nice. Everybody who asks me, they got a 30-minute conversation. <laughs> <laughs> they got to get a 30-minute conversation. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> yes. Take care. And we have, to make, we have to make our goal and hopefully exceed that goal today. Yes. Yes. That's the plan. 50000 or above. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Mr. Hayes. We, we appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate I appreciate your having me come on. Thank All you. All right now. I right, take care now. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. Oh, that was great. That's that's one of our fellow alumni. 
we would like to call our Claflin alumni family because he is indeed a part of our family. And right now we're getting ready to bring up uh, another member of our family. He is right now the interim VP of Institutional Advancement, my friend, colleague, Mr. Marcus Burgess. Hey, my ex, um, next door neighbor, my freshman year at Claflin too. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, uh, you didn't tell the story how you used to beat me up every day. You oh, man, and come my on, dad man. and, and, and uh, Eddie Garrison. Y'all used to jump me every morning. Yes, you I don't did. know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, thank you um, for taking the time out of your schedule. I mean, you I mean, you being the stars, man. When I talked to you earlier, you were in the Bahamas. I mean, you'd be traveling <laughs> all around. But that's what Claflin does for you. It helps you grow and helps you do things. And this given Tuesday, I'm just so thankful for many of the alumni and friends out there and faculty and staff who shown support thus far today. Uh, we see the gifts are coming in. Uh, our president will be coming up soon. And I tell you, uh, we have an outstanding dynamic leader uh, as um, Dr. Warmack is the ninth president of Claflin University. He and his wife and his daughter Morgan are doing a great job of leading us into the, next, uh, into the future. Um, so just excited about the fraternities and sororities, the, the classmates, the athletes who are making gifts today. And it's all about one thing, support of Claff University and her students and their programs. That's right. That's right. So so, so what was your experience? Uh, we went to school around the same time, sir. Uh, <laughs> what was your, your experience at Claflin? Because what we're talking about, we're, we're talking about financial support for the students. Um, how much support did you need financially when you went to, uh, what, what, you know, what was your role? So I was lucky that I came and I earned a scholarship, uh, oh, academic scholarship. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, a poor country boy from Cade, South Carolina, earned a, a scholarship. However, uh, like many of us, I was on that four and a half year, five year plan. I changed my major uh -huh. and my scholarship ran out before I finished. And I needed $1,200 to finish school. Now, many people don't know the story, but so being Dr. Tizzle's first SGA president and, you know, frat brother, I went into the office and said, Dr. Tizzle, I need $1,200 to finish school. And in true Dr. Tizzle fashion, he said, we cannot set a precedent. If I'm not able to give that to everybody, oh, wow. I can't do that to you. He says, so we got to figure out some other ways. And I remember um, trustee um, Dr. Rhett Jackson who was the owner of um, the Happy Bookseller in Columbia. And I remember him telling me if I ever needed anything to let him know. Well, I needed something. And so <laughs> uh, me and Miss Melvina Williams, uh, who's still working in the president's office, many, all of us oh, know wow. Williams, uh, we called him. And this was a Thursday. And he said, Mr. Burgess, I'll see you on Monday. On Monday morning, he walked into the president's office and I was called there and he handed me the $1,200, wow. but it wasn't a check from him. There were $25 and $50 and $100 checks from his Sunday school class that he asked people who did not know me from Adam to make a gift in the life of a, of a young, ah. young black male. And I'll never forget that story. I'll never forget what they did for me. And when I became a teacher, my first when I got my first paycheck, each month, the first payment I made was back to his um, United Methodist Church in Columbia. To Man. Black. So I, I give the Claflin because Claflin gave to me. Man, that's a great me. story. Yes, sir. Do, do, you, do you often tell that story? Because I've never heard I, that story I tell story it before. every now and then, but, I, I, you know, sometimes people don't believe, but all of us have those stories. You know, um... Fast forward 2006, I'm back working at Claflin as Alumni Affairs Director, and 22, listen to me closely, 22 of my former students enrolled as freshmen at Claflin University. Whether I taught them in fifth grade or was their assistant principal in Lake City, South Carolina, but 22 of my former students enrolled. And so what also meant I had 22 students 
coming by needing $20, needing $100, needing <laughs> money to fit, I mean, just to make ends meet. So we do the work we do here at Claflin for the next Michael Flowers, the next Marcus Burgess, the next uh, Cheryl Canty, who just made a gift. I mean, for the next future leader, we do it because somebody did it for us. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know, and, and I'll never forget the support that I got the financial support I got while I was at Claflin, and even when I left Claflin from Claflinites. And um, I won't tell the story, but I will say, I'll say, I'll say a couple of Claflinites that you and I both know assisted me uh, a couple of times, you know, during my climb as a as a as an executive producer, actor, and writer. So it is all about giving back to the family, to the nucleus. Because we all came up to, together and everybody at Claflin, we consider everybody a family. And so, you know, pouring into the lives of students is so important. Because like you said, like you said, you know, so they can be the next Marcus Burgess. So they can be the next Michael Flowers Judah, Jr., Adam McFadden, and the list goes on. You know, we got folks like, you know, I was trying to call her our good friend, Uva Ankles, as we know her now, you know, Uva Coles, CEO of her own company, Mm -hmm. uh, teaching diversity and inclusion to people all over the world. We have uh, just folks doing so many great things, Um, doctors, lawyers, uh, entrepreneurs. And um, we just launched our first Outstanding 40 Leaders Under 40. Uh, So many, uh, uh, the talented people who who have matriculated through these walls. And Man. it's not easy. You know, I would just, uh, you don't know him, but we were, I was just talking to Dr. Durant, who's our VP for Student Affairs, and I'm going to try to get him on later this afternoon sometime. You know, we, we all need some grace, too. I can think about the times where we were in trouble for mm-hmm. doing something we wasn't supposed to do. Right. Uh, the water balloon fights, the egg <laughs> fights. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm telling on ourselves a little bit, but, you know, but those were the things that made us and those were the yeah. ties that bind us mm-hmm. and just still so sorry not to have seen everyone from homecoming. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, God is good. Yeah. And we're able to connect virtually. We're able to connect uh, through the phone, social media. And so I am challenging the Claflin family, the Leal and Loyal sons and daughters to show up and show out today. Yeah. Continue to do that. You know, so we're excited for the for the gifts that are coming in. And again, I challenge, you know, those old nasty dogs, those <laughs> nasty cues. I hey, I mean, excuse me, those wonderful mega men out right. there. There you go. There you uh, go. I challenge uh, the social group I was a part of, the me- former members of POP, you know, Prophets of Power. So back in the '90s, you know, everybody had a crew. You had the cr- the Crash Crew. You had CMW. You had the ladies of I think it was Essence. You had um, P.O.W. I mean, we had social groups that yeah. were biggest fraternities and sororities on this campus. That's right. So challenge your friends um, to make a gift because um, tr- trust me, some outstanding students continue to need our support. Okay. Th- hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for your friendship, but, but thanks right now for coming on and uh, and representing for Claflin. No problem. No problem, Mike. I'll be back later. Okay. All right, that was my friend and Marcus Burgess. Right now, I want to bring um, our athletic director uh, live in front and center, Mr. Tony O'Neill. How's it going? <laughs> I'm good, Michael. How are you? I'm doing doing well. I, we, we appreciate all the work you're doing here. Oh, uh, Michael, it, it's, it's my pleasure. Actually, you caught me looking at my phone. I was making my donation. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Making my donation, yes. I was doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so so thanks a lot, man. We, we appreciate you coming on and talking to our, 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 our alumni and because mm-hmm. we want to make sure that we reach and exceed our goal of $50,000. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, I think this day is very important. I got a call from my president. I'm a graduate of Central State University, and he reminded me to make sure that I, I took part in, in the, the function there as well. And when when Mr. Burgess called me, I said, man, it's my pleasure. You know, let, let's talk about 
college athletics and the importance of it and you know how it's it's the opportunity for the bragging rights you know you know when you talk about college athletics you know you talk about homecoming and and it's normally surrounded around one of the athletic events and it brings people back and it's 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 just a time to celebrate and you know and you go in the game and you you want that victory but more than anything else is it's about the camaraderie it's about the ability to to be with your friends yeah and you know unfortunately we didn't have our homecoming this year but it would have been 35 years for me of uh, being a member of five Sigma fraternity incorporated so we we missed that opportunity but again you know we still giving we're still doing the things we're supposed to do and you know and making it happen for these young kids you know the bottom line is these young kids and like you know just a little bit i was just looking here and i wrote down a couple of things just you know why give the class on athletics and it was real simple you know capital campaign it will allow us to upgrade our facilities and and when we're recruiting the best and the finest we're bringing them in state-of-the-art facilities on campus and you know endowed scholarship that will con allow us to continue to recruit kids from all over the world and to just to assist them continue to build a claflin brand you know the the claflin brand and man getting here this summer you know and just seeing the the proud alums i walked out of my house and i had on my claflin shirt and my neighbor he said man i'm a claflin grad you know and just see how proud you know the claflinites are you know their university it's it's been special for me to be here so i'm happy to be here Well, you know, uh, that's that's funny to to walk out your out your your, uh, your house and for your neighbor to see, and and ha happen to go to uh, Claflin. Yeah, yeah, Claflin grad, his whole family. You know, wow. I mean, I I thought when I met Marcus and his dad and his dad and his uncle and everybody, but South Carolina has a lot of great individuals who have graduated from Claflin University. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that, that's true. Something you said um, rang true. It is that the Claflin brand is very strong. You know, mm -hmm. um, whenever I meet someone that, that went to Claflin, you know, if I have a T-shirt or if I have some paraphernalia on and I meet somebody, the, the how proud we are of yes. where we came from. And, yes. you know, and then it's let me get your number. How can I help? It's, it's the service. Yes. And that's one thing I'm, I'm proud of, you know. Um, I was discussing earlier that we were on the phone, me uh, we on Zoom uh, last night, um, wishing our friend a happy birthday, uh, Dequan. Okay. And uh, just to love in everybody's eyes, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, was, it was just real good to feel that Claflin, that Claflin love. Yeah, I, I got a call last week from an alum who, he said, hey man, I'm doing okay. You know, I just want to reach out when you're in the on the East Coast, reach out to us. And he said, uh, I'm blind. We don't have a lot, but we just want to give what we got. And I told him just the fact that you called me. Wow. And and wanted to reach out and meet me and wanted to give. That just shows me. He started telling me stories of when he was a student athlete back in the day. And <laughs> and it just gave me chill bumps. But again, you know, here's a man who says, you know, I'm on a fixed income, but I'm still willing and, and wanting to do something to help you in the athletic department. Wow. Yeah. So it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been really good. It's wow. Been, I, wow. I love stories like that. Yeah. Oh man. And the alums have been awesome. You know, one of our employees in the athletic department was recognized for the under 40. Matisse Lee and just to see her picture up there and, you know, her reaching out and she's connected me because, you know, they're the generation that's now starting to make that that move financially and, and, and want to be make sure that they're relevant, you know, yes. so it's been good. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much, Mr. O'Neill. We really appreciate your time. All right, man. It's thank you yes. for having me, Mike, and keep up the good work, man. And oh, thank keep you. Doing, doing. I listen to your markers and I just laugh because I'm like, listen, <laughs> listen to them tell them they sell. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> God bless, man. Hey, God bless you, man. Thank you so All right, much. All right, thanks. All right. All right. So I have the, the pleasure, the ultimate pleasure to welcome um, our Miss Claflin. Terry Tyson. Taryn Tyson. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. You got the crown on and everything. I okay, do. Cool. You know, I had to show up because it is Giving Tuesday. So I had to yes. put on all of the stuff for you guys. You had to. You had to. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I just wanted to come on and just say to everyone that is currently giving, thank you all so much. Um, and class nights, you know, you should give back not only because this is your alma mater, but because you're building a legacy. I think sometimes people think that you have to be on campus to leave a legacy for Claflin University, but in actuality, you can leave a legacy from anywhere for our university. And so, you know, so many of us have been given the opportunity um, to get help from the university, from alma maters, and from different um, alumni chapters. And so it's important for us to be willing to give back so that we can yeah. help someone else with their tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, when, when, when do you graduate? So I actually graduate this spring, like five, four months away. So <laughs> a graduating senior. Uh, and, you know, I will be giving back today as well, because, you know, without the help of Clapham University, without uh, the alumni chapters, without everyone helping me, I would not right. have this opportunity as well. So, yeah. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank what, you. What, what, you know, um, you said something. Which, one, one thing you said, which was great. Uh, it is about building a legacy, Definitely. you know, with 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 your donation, everybody. Like 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 Miss Claflin said, you're building a legacy. You are giving to somebody with a vision, and and because of that, they will go off and be um, the next whoever they are, and you'll be a part of that story. Definitely, and that's so important because you never know. You could be helping the next president of the United States. You never know. Um, and you, after the, all of the opportunities that we've had, uh, the story that Mr. Burgess said just a while ago, without that help, you know, we don't know where he would be. And so sometimes we have to think back of yeah. those moments that we've gotten help, those moments that people invested into us so that we can invest in someone else and make sure that they get to see the end and become graduating seniors like me. Ah, look at you, look <laughs> at you. Well, congratulations and thank you so much for saying something, Ms. Claflin, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much and do not and, forget to give back. <laughs> that's right. And we, we appreciate you and we wish you well in your life. Uh, if you ever need us, we are all family. Of course, thank you so much. All right now, take care. You too. All right. So that was that was that was Miss Claflin. I'm so excited uh, to see Miss Claflin. But right now we are going to introduce to you, Mr. Dalton Tresvan. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, I'm doing all right. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tresvan is a fellow alum. When, when did you graduate? Uh, 1970. Well, finished. Actually, graduated. Finished in '74. They did not have summer graduation, so I marched in '75. Beautiful. Finished in 74. Okay. Um, okay. When I was a student at Cloud, I was just listening to um, Tony and I was listening to Marcus, you know, good friends of mine, you know, good friends. And uh, I am president of OMASA, Orange and Maroon Scholarship um, Association. Um, it's basically for my athletes. When I was a, a student at Claflin, I played basketball, ran track. Okay. Um, I have also had two children that are also alums. One played softball. I had a daughter to graduate in 2015 that played softball. Really? And my son graduated, I'm, I'm sorry, got that back, was 14 and 15. My son played baseball at Claflin. So he's also a former student athlete. And I was supposed to make an appeal why it was important to give for, you know, especially for athletics. Mm -hmm. And a couple things I wanna say, um, first of all, uh, you know, Claflin is a great academic institution, you know, and I've got uh, friends that, you know, I play golf with now that played with me when I was in school. 
Um, you know, we get together um, more than once a year to play, you know, to, you know, kind of play around. We can't play basketball anymore because we've gotten a little too old to run up and down the court. Right. But, you know, uh, as an, as an institution, Claflin, as I said, is a great academic institution. And but academics is not the face of the university. Athletics is because uh, during the course of a year, teams from Claflin will compete in Florida. They'll compete in Georgia, uh, South Carolina, all the way up to uh, at least Pennsylvania uh, in, in all of those states. And the first time a lot of people have any contact with the university is through our student athletes. And our student athletes have always been good ambassadors. That's why it's important that we have good facilities, that we fully fund athletic scholarships. And, you know, if we raise enough money, it will give us an opportunity to, um, you know, expand our athletic, athletic offerings to, you know, include things like golf and tennis. Um, now, when I was a student at Claflin, uh, unlike my good friend Marcus, I pledged. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm, I just get, I'll, I give monthly to the university. Um, and I would like to challenge all of my frat brothers to uh, match my recent donation of $100 to the university for um, both the Kappa endowment and for the athletic department. All right, all right. Uh, well, you heard you heard what he said. All the cappers, all the cappers. If if you if, if you're making if you do this, he's talking to you. All right, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Well, 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 we do that. Like I said, I'm wearing two hats. Wearing my kappa hat. Okay. Wearing my Claflin athletic. Okay. Hat. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we really appreciate you, Mr. Tresvant, and your donation. We really appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, you all, Mike, you all keep up the good work. And, um, you know, if, you know, anytime you all need anything, you know, just, you know, call us because, uh, you know, some of us, even though we left uh, a while ago, we're still working hard for the university every day. Right. Right. So, see, now this is, this is spoken like a true Claflin night. If you ever need me, call me. That's how we are. And so, we need we need that kind of support, right? We need that kind of support from our fellow alumni for the students that are that are, that are approaching at, at Claflin now and the ones that are coming. So please, we are going to reach our fifty thousand dollar mark, and then we're going to exceed it. So thank well, you so much. Uh -huh. Exceeding is good. Exceeding is good. Exactly. <laughs> exceeding is good. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, so right now we're gonna welcome DJ Fat Boy. He's gonna he's gonna uh, come on and, and play some. Uh, oh no, he's not. Oh, okay. So let me introduce. See, we, we have we have to shuffle a little bit. We're gonna introduce our chair of the nursing department, Dr. Shannon Smith. How, how are you today? I'm doing well. Your um your audio, uh, is is your mute on? Check one, check two. In the meantime, I'm gonna, I, I have to say this. I didn't even know we had a nursing department. I do now. Okay, so we're gonna go to, so so doctor, we, uh, we're gonna take a, 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 a moment so we can get your audio together. Right now, we're gonna go straight, straight to the, uh, DJ Fat Boy. DJ Fat Boy. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, that, that's, man, that's my song right there. Go ahead and blast it for us. I got you. <laughs> okay, now I'm in the spot where I wanna be. Money spent, getting bent, chicks in front of me. Just the way I like it. Honey's turning something. I got a seat up in the cut and I'm burning something. 
Foodies dance around it, and I'm killing ones. Off the top of the stairs, and I'm feeling buns. Plus, I'm dolo at the table. I'm with this chick with the fat fatty and the ring up in the navel. Dances around, she struts with the f ball. Touches her toes, if she can make a butt talk. Do what you gotta do. I ain't mad at you, know a lot of famous women seen, and as bad as you. You's a real bad girl, and they need that. Sipping on your henny, asking where the f that. Let me put you on to something. You f with a big nigga, no fighting. Yeah. Turn it around, let me see something Let me feel it, it's gonna be something I'm talking lights, camera, action I'm just singing, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson Turn it around, let me see something Let me feel it, it's gonna be something Yeah, I'm talking lights, camera, action Tryna get a little V.I. Put it down on the low key She know how it is I said her shorty, she was checking up for me From the game, she was spinning in my ear You would think that she knew me I decided to cheat Conversation got heavy She had me feeling like she's ready to blow Oh, oh, she say you come get me come get So me. I got up and followed her to the floor She said, baby, let's go When I let's told go. her, I said okay. Okay. When he got down, she said, come and get me okay. Okay. I got so proud of you, I got you to call me okay. 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 Let me my girl, you do the best for me That it might be a good idea to take her with me She's ready to leave But I gotta keep it real now Cause I'm the one for ten She's a certified twenty But that just ain't me Hey, Cause I don't know to take that chance She swears it gonna leave But what I do know Is the way she dance Make sure they all right for me The way she get love I'm like yeah She's worth that out for me She out for Get that food, Jimmy Shane, get that, that kiss, let's go. Columbus now. Yeah, but let's show them what's above the now. Bling, a hundred thou couldn't get you one of these. Not one of these. I guarantee it ain't a flaw on one of these. And one of these. Two hundred thou couldn't get you in the league. And three hundred thou you couldn't even buy the keys. I think you need to add fifty more cheese. Now shall I proceed? Yes, indeed. Oh, I need to see you take it down to the floor. Spread your wings if you will. My fly real low. Pause for a second, my grind real slow. And if you do it right, well, there we'll go. Oh, I talk a little friend, single girl. Single girl. Barney and Judy leave it with your bag. Party's here on the west side So I reach for my 40 and I turn it up Designated driver, take the keys to my truck 
Hit the shop cause I'm faded Honey's in the streets, say money, yo, we made it It feels so good in my hood tonight The summertime skirts and the guys in canile The gang bangers forgot about the drive-by You gotta get your groove on before you go get paid So tip up your cup and throw your hands up And let me hit a party, say I'm kind of buzzed and it's all because This is how we do it South Central doesn't like nobody does This is how we do it To all my neighbors, you got much flavor This is how we do it Let's flip the track with the old school band This is how we do it This is how we do it All hands are in the air And wait from from here to there If you're an OG Mac or a wannabe player You see the hood's been good to me Ever since I was a lowercase G But now I'm a big G The girls see I got the money Hundred dollar bills y'all If you were from where I'm from Then you would know That I gotta get mine in a big black truck You can get yours in a six ball Whatever it is, the party's underway So tip up your cup and throw your hands up And let me hear the party say I'm kind of fun, it's so all because This is how we do it South Central Desert like nobody does Alright, thank you so much Fat Boy, we appreciate you man No problem Alright, so uh, we can ready to go back to uh, uh, the chair of our nursing department uh, Dr. Shannon Smith. I'm so excited about this. Good afternoon, Mr. Flowers and everyone. Good afternoon. I'm so excited. Let me tell you why I'm so excited. I didn't know we had a nursing department. What? This is great for me. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. The nursing program at Claflin is doing some awesome things. We're getting ready to start a master's program in August. Oh. So I'm real happy to be here today to talk about scholarships and, and Giving Tuesday. Yes, yes. Please, please, you have the floor. You know, when I, when I think about how important it is to give, to support scholarships, I reflect on my, my days as a nursing student. By the time I went to nursing school, I was married with two small children. And needless to say, tuition was not on the list of necessities in our household because we just couldn't afford for me to go to school. But someone gave so that I could have the opportunity to attain an education and today i'm dr smith so you know and i'm trying to trying to pay it back in a sense mm -hmm. for me giving is a chance to give back to pay it forward so that someone just like me small town girl raised in the country would have an opportunity to be doctor whoever you mm -hmm. know and it would not have been possible without scholarships so today i want to encourage anyone who's ever received a scholarship in their college years or if you wish you had the opportunity to attend college, but for financial constraints, you couldn't do it. I'm challenging you today to give a hundred dollars, please give a hundred dollars. And then, you know, giving scholarships is our way of breaking the cycle of students graduating with so much student loan mm. debt. It's crazy these days. Students sometimes have $80,000 worth of debt and that just puts them behind the eight ball to start out. And then lastly, I want you to give because I'm a proud Claflin mom to an amazing son. Some of you guys might know Cliff Smith, AKA Omega CJ, that's my boy. Uh, I'm so proud of his Claflin education because he's taking it into the world and, and taking it by storm. And I'm, I'm really proud of who he is. So today I'm also challenging all Claflin moms to give $100. Giving is a powerful statement, folks. Actually, is that gift that keeps giving into the future. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it pours into each new generation. And um, if we could just keep that mindset of giving, we're, we're going to have a great tomorrow. That's right. That, that, that's very true. I, I like how you brought it first full circle, uh, how you talked about how someone gave to you and you wouldn't be dr smith if someone didn't give to you that's right absolutely so, yeah so that's why it's so important it, it is so important because mm -hmm. i mean you know when you're when you're a young struggling family or say you're the first person in your family who's ever gone to college mm -hmm. you know 
it's it's a feat that's not possible without the gift of scholarships. True. And, and today, you know, just for me being able to go to college and attain a doctorate in nursing, I was able to put, you know, get my two kids through college mm -hmm. and they're both masters prepared today. So, you know, and their children are going to be different all because of scholarship giving. Yeah. And and then you talk and then you spoke about the weight of the student loan and the cycle that that exists. Yeah, it's it's so um can you imagine just you can't even buy a house because you got $80,000 worth of debt. You know, you got an education but you're burdened mm -hmm. by that debt until it's paid off. And so if you can get out of college and not have student loan debt, that is such a, a boost to who you are and who you can become because you don't have that burden of student loan debt. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And we have the opportunity today to pour into our future. It's it's not just their future. It's my future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who they can become is my future. And by sewing into them, I'm showing that I have the vision, you know, the Claflin visionary vision mm -hmm. that I can see them becoming who they should be. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's it's, it's putting putting uh, action to the vision. Yeah, yeah, and that's big, and that's big, and that's why we need some support. So thank Absolutely. you, thank you so much, Doc. We really appreciate you. I'm so glad you came because I had no idea this is new news and this is great news. I didn't know this. Well, I'm glad you know now, Mr. Flowers. So <laughs> guys, give some scholarships so we can graduate these nurse practitioners and nurse leaders in the future and um, make Orangeburg County, South Carolina, all better. Yeah, thank you so much. That's one of my students. Uh, Hi, uh, uh, And now, so, okay, so let me introduce you right now. So this is um, a, a nursing grad, Josephine Kitt. Yes. And, and you graduated in 2019, right? Yes. Oh, that is beautiful. Yes. Look at that. Yes, I'm so glad to be here. I am honored to have been I graduated HBCU college. That was my dream, my family's dream. Also, I'll be back in August of 2021. We're gonna take that master's program and the scholarship wow. really helped me as a 50 plus year nurse, you know, uh, 50 years old and better, working part-time. Those scholarships were right on time. And I love Claflin for that, you know, because when you pour into Claflin, they pour back into you mm -hmm. double fold. And I, I I believe that. I believe that. So I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is great. This is great. So we saw uh the doc and then what and then then you're you are a student, correct? Yes. yes. And then you're coming back to get a master's. Yes, yes. Can't wait. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yes. I will be back August of 2021, as soon as they let us get started. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Where, where, where are you now? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. In Atlanta. Atlanta. I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Okay, well, thank you so much, Josephine. I think I think you froze. I think she froze on us, y'all. Well, well um, Josephine, if you can see me, thank you so much for coming. Oh, there you go. Thank yes. you so much, Josephine. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hey, you too now. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, uh, so we have, let's see, guys, I didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, I did not know we had a nursing program and that took me so off guard. And I, I'm telling you, this, we have grown so much as a student body and we have to make sure that we keep that momentum going because from Oscar Rogers to, to President Tisdale and to, you know, our, our, our now sitting president, uh, 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 Mr. Warmack, we are we are moving so far forward. I'm telling you, if you would have seen, if, I'm sure you guys know. I'm talking to my people. So, the how much we've grown since you know I be, I was a student when I came in in '90. We've grown so much, and uh, I'm so I'm so excited about that. Um, so it looks like uh, we will bring in. Um, it looks like we're bringing in, in DJ Fat Boy, I think. Um, oh no! Oh, ah, we're bringing in Tammy. 
Hey. And he's back in the house. Hey, Mike, thank you so much. We're behind the scenes working it out. Uh, George Johnson and we all, Zelda is coming up next. She has uh, some things that she wants to say. And so we, we are just so grateful to you. Thank you, sir, for doing such a wonderful, fantabulous job. Oh, thank you, Tim. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to bring Zelda in now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Give, give, give. Oh, we're bringing in Tammy. Hey. Tammy's back in the house. Hey, Mike. Thank you so much. We're behind <laughs> the scenes working it. Uh, All right. So uh, we can ready to bring in uh, Zelda, uh, Zelda Lee. Uh, it looks like she's on mute. You're on mute. Oh, there you go. Fabulous job. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to bring Zelda in now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Get oh. in, get in. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. And we're doing such a wonderful job on this Giving Tuesday. We're doing wonderful on this Giving Tuesday. So now it's time to challenge the Divine Nine. Let's go for it. Let's take the AKAs against the Deltas, the Zetas against the Sigma Gamma Rho, <laughs> Omega against Kappa, Alphas against Sigma, and then we have um, Iota Tau. So let's give to your sororities today so these students will have scholarships from your fraternity and your sorority. Thank you, Miss Tammy. Okay, so let's give, let's give to your organizations. Let's give. Thank you. Thank you, Zelda. Mike's coming back in because we wanted to formally say thank you, Zelda. I know you wanted to say thank you to him as well. And, and so Zelda, you're still on mute. Mike has got to sign out uh, at two o'clock. And so we want to give him the final words uh, to say to us. And again, Mike, thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Seriously. Oh, my final words? Yeah, your final words. Oh, my final you words. Know, uh, you know, we're so gonna let you we're gonna let you take us out. Okay, okay, all right. So um I think it's you know, I've I've received so many gifts when I was in Claflin and and um and thereafter. And I, I gotta say, there are a lot of people that gave to me, whether it was monetary was whether it was you know just support and so that's what we're talking about today that's all that we're talking about we're talking about support for the Claflinites that are there because that's what this fundraiser is for and so um since we see each other as family since we support each other as family we need your monetary donation so that we can move forward today i gave 105 dollars because i'm not just i'm not just speaking just we want money. We want something from you. I'm saying I'm willing to. I'm asking for something from you, for our, our students because we are visionaries. We're our family. But I'm. I am putting forth the action because I believe in what Claflin is doing. I believe in the brand, and I believe in the people that are b behind the brand. So, thank you so much for having me, um, family. I love you, and uh, thank you. I mean, I can keep going. You want me to, what, you, what you want? You want some of that? I'll give you some of that. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Listen, Fat Boy is going to come in. We want to thank you, Mike. Yay. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Fat, yeah. Fat Boy is going to come in now and he's going to play that set and we're just going to rock and roll. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Boy, just come on in. Mike, thank you again. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Indeed. Mr. Actor, see you yeah. in Hollywood. You better believe it. <laughs> Take care now. Take care. All right. Fat boy, it's on you. Before I let go. Before I let go.
the DJ keeps sending them gifts. DJ Fat Boy on the set, let's go. You make me happy. This you can get. You stood right beside me. Yeah. And I'm over again. And I really love you. You should know I wanna make sure I'm right, girl Before I let go I read how I would time That's it, you see We've heard in each other Girl, it's a shame You know I thank the sun rises and shines on you. You know there's nothing, nothing, nothing I would not do. Challenging all the classes to see who's gonna donate the most. It's Giving Tuesday. You know the goal, we trying to reach 50,000. DJ Fat Boy, let's get it.
It's given to us, we challenging all the classes, all the fraternities, sororities. If you played in athletics at Claflin, make that donation. Support them students. The goal is 50,000. We're trying to reach that goal today. Let's go. Set it off, I suggest y'all set it off, I suggest y'all set it off, 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 on the left, y'all set it off, on the right, y'all set it off, come on, let's set it off, set it off, y'all want this party started quickly, right? Set it off, 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 I suggest y'all set it off, I suggest y'all set it off, 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 set it
One time for Eddie Lassane. Shouts out to Lakeisha Barnes. They just made a donation. Yeah, the goal is 50,000. We're gonna reach that goal today. Keep making those donations. We're going till seven. Feel free to sing the song. Let's go. So many things that's held us down But now it looks like things are finally coming around I know we've got a long, long way to go And where we'll end up, I don't know But we won't let nothing hold us back We're putting our show together We're polishing up our act And if you've ever been held down before I know you refuse to be held down anymore Don't you let nothing go Tag a friend, make sure you share and let them know We live right now Tell them to give a gift, make sure you challenge them, let's go To every word I say, every word I say Ain't no stopping us now We got Dr. Warmack about to come up in just a second. Don't forget, make sure you keep giving. Know someone that has a negative vibe, and if you're trying to make it, they only push you aside. They really don't have nowhere to go. Ask them where they're going, they don't know. But we won't let nothing hold us back. We're gonna put our shirt together, gonna polish up our act. And if you've ever been held down before, I know you refuse to be. Don't you let nothing, nothing stand in your way. I want y'all to listen, listen. Every word I say, every word I say. Ain't no stopping us now. No, no, no. We're moving, we're grooving. Ain't no stopping us now. It's Giving Tuesday. Make sure you keep giving. Challenge your class. Challenge your sorority, your fraternity. If you play in athletics and clapping, challenge your teammates. Make sure you keep giving. We got to reach 50,000 today. Right now, we're going to bring up Dr. Warmack. Shouts out to all my class and nights. At this time, I want to welcome Dr. Warmack. DJ Paco, how you doing, my brother? How you I'm, doing today? I'm good, and you? I'm good, man. Thank you again for rocking the house for us, brother. We truly appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. 
I just want to just once again, Claflin alumni, we need you. We need you today. Just want to say, um, just given Tuesday, we want to set the record to show why we continue to have the largest alumni giving. But I want to start off by saying this. We had, you talking about setting the stage. We had an outstanding student, class of 2023, a current student right now, sophomore, who's a leader on our campus, gave $300 today, um, Christopher Key. He's one of our outstanding up and coming students who has a passion for this institution. And he said today, he said, Dr. Warmack, I can do this as a student. So I know alumni who've graduated from here who have been visionaries can come on and match it. So Christopher Key, thank you for believing in the, your institution. And you're not even an alum yet and investing back in it. So I heard that you're gonna challenge your classmates to give what they can give. But $300 is major for a current student who's continues to pay tuition and everything else at this institution. I say, thank you, Christopher. You are truly appreciated. Everyone else. I am, I am excited. Um, I know our cabinet members, we want to have 100% participation by our cabinet members today. Each one of the members of the cabinet will be given something for this given Tuesday. Our goal is 50,000. I know we can do it with the Leo Loyal Sons that at this outstanding institution, 50 is easy for us. I, I'm clear that we may get to 100,000. I'm committed. My wife is committed to giving today. We need you. And especially the uh, 40 under 40 outstanding leaders you know, you were celebrated and I continue to hear all the time, young alums don't give. I know you will show up today. Please, we're asking all of you, this goes to deserving students to have scholarships like student Christopher Key, who gets a scholarship, this is a way of paying it forward. So thanks to each of you for your contributions, your commitment to this outstanding institution. And DJ Fatboy, thanks again for rocking the house. We appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much, President President Warmack. Thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am. No, yes, thank sir. you. Behind the scenes, working it out, sir. Right. Thank you, Ms. Zelda. I know y'all are back there holding this thing down for the entire day and the entire advancement uh, staff, institution advancement staff, for your hard work and dedication. We appreciate you all. Thank you. I see so you, Ms. Lee. Sir. How are you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> Good. Yes, I see Ms. Lee just came on as well, huh? Yeah. Yes, she is. Uh, okay. she is, she's working it out, sir. Okay. Sounds yes, good. Sir. Sounds so, good. so we, we sure appreciate you, sir, for all, all that you're doing um, for Claflin University and for our faculty, staff, and students, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank all you. Right. All right. I'm going to remove it. I look forward to coming back on about five o'clock for the drive home as folks are leaving work and they're going, there's no happy hours anymore. So on this, uh, two dollar tuesday or taco tuesday now we can uh, give give a little bit back to claflin university for those two dollar tacos or that two dollar turn up you know we we are looking forward to you to come do that on your drive home so i'll yes. be back after five to make the connection with our family at that time oh yes sir looking forward to it sir yes sir bj fat boy remind them about that uh two dollar tuesday and that uh happy hour special that we got after five today You know, we're we looking forward to you to do that on your drive home. So I'll yes. be back after five and make the connection with our family at that time. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Looking forward to it, sir. Yes, sir. DJ Fat Boy, remind them about that. Uh... DJ Fat Boy, thank you. She wants. DJ Fat Boy, thank you. Zelda, you there? Our alumni director. Oh yeah, I have good news, good news. We have raised at this point $12,241.50 and we're still adding. Please, 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 please give. Thank you, Miss Tammy. You're welcome. Thank you. Listen, we want to want to bring in. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. You know, I've got people in the office. We want to bring in Miss Brianna Kelly. Thank you so much. Yay! Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Yay! Clap it up. Clap it up. Okay. Miss Brianna Kelly, will you come on in? Thank you. Hey, Dr. Woman. Uh oh. 
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brianna Kelly, and I am a 2018 graduate. Giving back to the university is important to me because I actually received the Claflin um, Scholarship Fund when I was a student at Claflin University. Now I would like to challenge all of our classes and reunion um, to give back. So class of 1940 and 1945. I'm challenging you guys against one another. Class of 1950 and class of 1955, class of 1960 and 1965, class of 1970 and 1975, class of 1980 and 1985, class of 1990 and class of 1995, and lastly, class of 2015 and class of 2010. Again, you guys, we are challenging all of our classes in reunion to give back. Thank you so much. Have Thank you. Thank you, Miss Brianna. We sure appreciate you. All right, let's give, let's keep giving, let's keep giving. Everybody, we're doing great. I have the pleasure of introducing to you our Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences, <laughs> Dr. Isaiah McGee. How are you, Dr. McGee? Dr. McGee? All right. Dr. McGee, we're having a little technical difficulty. We can't hear you. So I'm not sure if it's if it's your mic. Are you okay? So I tell you what, Dr. McGee, I'm gonna I'm gonna come backstage, and we're gonna see what's going on, and uh, we'll be right back. DJ Fat Boy, can you hit us with? going on. We sure thank you so much. Giving Tuesday, I have the pleasure of introducing to you Christopher Key. All right, you heard Dr. Womack talk about it. So he challenges all of his classmates and everybody here. $300. Christopher Key graduating in what? 2023. And he gave $300. So here he is, Christopher Key.
Good afternoon, Claflin. My name is Christopher Key. I am a sophomore here at Claflin University, majoring in business management. Um, the importance of this day, the importance of celebrating this day is to focus on the financial gap and the needs of the students here at Claflin University. Um, I found myself this semester speaking with many of my peers who were finding it difficult um, to get internet services in their home, difficult to get computers and tablets to complete their online assignments. But we know that with your help on this day of giving, we look forward to your support. We need your help on this day. Um, I've had the opportunity of speaking with many of my peers. Um, your donations will not only support myself, it will support my peers, and it will support the future of Claflin University. Um, on this day of giving, I ask that you continue to support Claflin, and most importantly, continue to support the future that lies within this institution. Yes, I did donate $300, not for myself, but I donated it for this university. I donated it for my peers, and I ask that you support us. And as we continue to go on this luxurious journey, and as we continue to go on this educational journey, I believe that you will stand with us. You will stand by our leadership. You will stand by our university as we continue to press on on this most trying and difficult time. But yet it is also a luxurious time because we're still on this side. So continue to support Claflin University and continue to support us as we go forward. Thank you, Claflin University, on this day of giving. Look forward to seeing your support on the screens. Take care. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Reverend Key. My goodness. Reverend Dr. Christopher Key. All right. Thank you so much, Denver, for sharing your son with us. Dr. Denver Malcolm, thank you so much. Listen, I think we have Dr. Isaiah McGee, the Dean of Natural, Natural Sciences, Humanities, and Social Sciences. I do apologize, Dr. McGee. How are you, sir? Thank you for joining us. Blessed and highly favored. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Oh, Thank okay. you. Okay. Great. This is a blessed day on this given Tuesday. Um, just like to say um, to all of those uh, that have tuned in, welcome, welcome home to those alums, uh, to those that are first time uh, being introduced to Claflin University. It's a special place here in Orangeburg, South Carolina, the Garden City. On this given Tuesday, we would love for you to please feel free to give to this institution and its mission, a mission that has been going on for over 150 years. Of, of making uh, stellar students, uh, stellar community members, and all of that rolled into one. Uh, I am Dr. Isaiah McGee, the Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, the largest school at the institution, where we have six departments. That's Department of Music, uh, Department of Art, Department of English, Department of Mass Comm, uh, Department of Humanities, which consists of history, religion, and, and um, um, foreign languages and the Department of Social Sciences, where you have your psychology, sociology, um, criminal justice and political science. So hopefully you have been a, a part of one of those units. Um, one of the things that I would encourage you to give to now is um, give to student scholarships. Uh, scholarships are critical at this time where we are finding that students and parents are, are struggling through this pandemic, um, staying employed, uh, meeting the needs, making ends meet. Uh, and so that trickles down to the student and the student needs um, or parent contribution to a child's education. And so for anything, if, if nothing else, it's, it's time for you to uh, reach one and, and, and share and teach one, if you would. Teaching in the sense that you're going to give to one student to help them through their educational journey. Uh, but not only that, if you don't find it in your heart to want to give to a specific major or program or student, a specific student, um, I encourage you to give to uh, the university uh, what we call unrestricted funds. Um, during this pandemic, it's been pretty hard on a lot of institutions across the country. And one of the things that we would like to do and need to do is to have um, funds and reserves to give and, and continue to build the brand that you all know and love. And that is Claflin University on a hilltop high. And so it is very needed that you give unrestrictedly so that stu so that students can benefit the institution can benefit so that the president can continue the mission of thriving helping this institution thrive in this pandemic uh, we don't want to look at it as a, a downer 
um, we want to make sure that Claflin continues to thrive it has, as it has done for over 150 years. And thanks to you for all that you have done. Um, but we know and pray that you're going to continue to do. And we look forward to it. And I just encourage all of you to reach in your pocket. Um, we as faculty have been behind the institution and continues to support it financially, um, also with our time. And if you don't have the money, we, again, give of your time. But we definitely would love your support financially so that we can continue to produce the best and the brightest ever. Remember, come home and come home often. And this is your time to come home. Give, Giving Tuesday, give, give, give. We don't want other institutions to outdo us. So let's continue to press the button and continue to give. Thank you so much. Stay blessed and look forward to seeing you in the near future. Thank you so much, Dr. McGee. We appreciate you and the best to you and your department and all that you do. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Next, I have the pleasure of introducing an alum, uh, a Claflin alum, Mrs. Frierson. And I do want to say before this, I want to say thank you so much, uh, Christopher. I tell you, that was really wonderful. Hi, Mrs. Frierson. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Please share with us why people should give to Claflin University. Sure. So good afternoon. Welcome to Giving Tuesday. As you're aware, Giving Tuesday was created in 2012 and has become an international movement to celebrate charitable giving at the beginning of the holiday season. So let me talk about three reasons why you should give back to Claflin. Number one, Claflin needs the support. Number two, Claflin University provided an opportunity. And number three, Claflin University students deserve the opportunity. So when we talk about the support, the goal is $50,000. And I know that may seem like a lot, but it's really not. And I know we can do it. Claflin is the institution that leads amongst all HBCUs. We are number one, and we want to continue to stay number one amongst alumni giving. giving. And Claflin does so much in the community for its students, and especially, they've done a lot for me. The faculty and staff all nurtured us while we were attending Claflin. They turned us into the professionals that we are today, and I am forever indebted. Now, when we talk about providing an opportunity, Oftentimes, people may hear me say, or hear my fellow Claflinites say, I have the Claflin confidence. To be able to matriculate and walk on the grounds that led us to the hilltop high goes without saying. I mean, Claflin was like our home away from home. And lastly, Claflin University students deserve this opportunity to be able to experience the same thing that we got to experience while we were attending. Think about it. Sometimes I walk into a boardroom on my job or host a meeting where there is no one in the room who looks like me. But I have the confidence of knowing that I am well prepared and I received a foundational education from the Claflin University. So would you consider just for the moment, I challenged myself and I gave back to Claflin this year on a recurring basis. And I know for a fact that it will help other students. So today I will challenge the class of 98, the initiates of the Gamma Chi chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and the former members of the Daisy E. Pearson Education Association to give today. Can you give five? Can you give 10? I think we could do better than that. Can we give at least 50? Come out today and help support Claflin University. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Price. Thank you. Thank you, Lucille. Class of 1998. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now it's time for DJ Fat Boy. <laughs> But can you cook good? Can you read or is your brain like wood? Do you have sex or do you make love? How do you live? Do you give it? Do you take love? Girl, you're so fine. Could you be mine? Or do I slap in the back of a whip with black line? Yeah, the fruit looks right, but that ain't hot so fine. Yeah, right. At your age, not the size of those pants you wear so tight. You look right. But do you get in or walk around? So many guys. Oh, 
see I'm crazy I really don't care That's my prerogative They say I'm nasty But I don't give a damn Getting girls is how I live Some messy questions Why am I so real? But they don't understand me I really don't know the deal about my brother Trying hard to make it right Not long ago Before I win this fight sure. Everybody's talking all this stuff about me Why don't they just let me live? Tell me why I don't need permission to make my own decisions oh. That's my prerogative Coming up in just a few minutes, we got Dr. Hill. If it's a dream, you home tonight Baby, it's gonna be alright We're just you and I Hey, let's recognize True Yep, yep Hey, girl, are you In a romantic mood Singing ooh Won't you grill me Grill me Tonight University on Giving Tuesday. As you can see, we are jamming in the backgrounds. I know it's work, but we're having a good time because what? We are giving on Tuesday today for Claflin University. So I'm going to bring to you our Dean of Business, Dr. Nicholas Hill. How are you, Dr. Hill? Hello, hello. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can, sir. Thank you. I am so well. This is a great day for giving. So I'm excited about everybody out there and the ability for them to give today. Yes, sir. Well, listen, we want you to tell us what is the in one important thing that you can tell us about the School of Business and why it's important for everybody to give to Clapham University today. Well, let me begin by saying how exciting and thankful I am for this opportunity. My name is Nicholas Hill. Once again, I'm serving as Dean of the School of Business. The School of Business prepares students to be successful in their careers and their business professions. Uh, we have done this by dedicating our mission to high quality undergraduate programs, 
high quality graduate education programs. And we have a diverse background uh, to make sure that our students have the business and professional tools that they can use to engage in their local economy. For a lot of you all, y'all graduated from the School of Business and you're a testament to that success. Uh, one of the ways that you can keep this going is understand that students that come behind you, you are the shoulders in which they stand on. You are the giants to which uh, they are able to strive and that you got to understand that your giving <clears throat> allows for these students to contribute to the business world, both in the social and economic to solve those problems in the world today. We already know one of the biggest problems and challenges today is the economic downfall due to COVID-19. A lot of our students coming up and, and, and that are graduate from our school, they will have the answers and solutions to these problems that are coming up. We need you to give to us today to help support these students in their endeavor. And remember, I always leave with this. One of my acronyms, one of my favorite ones, and I love the music that's playing, is the rap. Uh, and I want to make sure that you understand what rap means and make sure that our program has relevancy. We want to make sure that you advocate, and we cannot do that without having uh, the philanthropy philanthropic endeavors that you do. We want you to give to support our students, support what they do, support their entrepreneurial endeavors, and to support their scholarships uh, for the School of Business. Well, Dr. Hill, thank you so much for sharing that information. And we are, I mean, we're excited today because it is Giving Tuesday to Clapton University. Thank you again, sir. No, thank you. And keep on giving. Yes, sir. All right. Now I'm going to bring uh, to the stage, as we say, we have Mr. Isaiah Griffin. And Isaiah is also a Claflin student. How are you, Isaiah? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you. So why is it important for everyone to give to Claflin University today? Well, I would say it's important to give to Clapham University because when you give to the university, you are investing in someone's future. Uh, for Clapham University, and I know for all of its students, Clapham is our opportunity to make our stamp on the world. It is our opportunity to do something great with our lives. It's our opportunity to make something of ourselves. So when you give to Clapham, you are investing in us and we are investing in you. And then we will also invest back into university so that we can bring up generations behind us so we can all do the same thing. So I would say, please give and invest into my future, invest into the future of my friends and my fellow students here at my university. Well, you articulated that so well. Uh, yes, I'm listening. Thank you. Listen, what, when do you graduate, Isaiah? I actually graduate this upcoming semester. So uh, my four years are now coming to an end and I'm very excited to take the education that I have here and bring it into the real world and continue to work hard and be successful. Congratulations, and thank you so much, Isaiah, for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me. All right. And now we are going to have an alum. She's very special. She's spoken on, on our stage uh, to our students at Convocation. She is uh, just a wonderful uh, woman, alum, and she's always giving of her time to her community and to her school. I want to introduce you to some, you may already know her, but to others, her name is Dr. Denise J. Fleming, the class of 1996. How are you, Dr. Fleming? Hey, I am wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us on this Giving Tuesday at Claflin University. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. Great. So what you share with us, uh, why is it important to give to Claflin University? And again, we want to thank you for your gift and your challenge, your gift of $2,000. And you are a member of Mu Chapter of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Thank you so awesome. much, Dr. Fleming. It is my pleasure. First, um, I give because my grandmother graduated from Claflin University. I'll say the distinguished Claflin University in 1952. We have a legacy of with over 30 family members who have graced the grounds of Claflin University. And I think, and well, actually I know that Claflin is the best university in the world. So we established an endowment in honor and memory of my grandparents, the Lawrence and Aletha Jones Jenkins family endowment. But I want to challenge everyone to give. 
no matter how much, it doesn't matter how small, it doesn't matter how large. If your company matches, we would love that because our students need that. How do I know? Because we care enough to send the very best. Our daughter is currently a sophomore at Claflin University. So I want to challenge all of my 1996 classmates, my Saras um, of, in Mu Chapter and all over in Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. The Alice Carson Tisdale Honors College family, because Ms. Tisdale really did a lot for many of us, and the Daisy E. Pearson Education Association. And I actually have a donation also from the White Group, which is a minority owned DBE enterprise that specializes in horizontal and vertical construction and hauling. And they're challenging all businesses to give a minimum of $100. But because I'm asking you to give, and I know I already gave, I'm not going to ask you not to, to do something that I'm not willing to do, and I'm going to do it live. So I'm challenging everyone that I said, I'm going to give a thousand extra dollars, just so you know that I'm going to lead by example, because that's who we are. We've gone from the Claflin confidence, and now we're in the Claflin magic. So I know we can make it happen. In fact, I want us to exceed $50,000 today. So let us do this together. Dr. Janine, you said that so well. Thank you so much. Listen, you 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 are an alum, and I'm just going to ask you this question. And wanted to find out from you how have you um, enjoyed coming back to see your alma mater? It touches my heart, of course. The campus is beautiful. Me, you know, meeting the Warmax has been absolutely amazing from the beginning, and because you know. I was there with Dr. Tisdale, but to have a daughter who started with the Warmax, it's, it's absolutely mind blowing. Everything that's going on, if you haven't come home, you got to come home. And we know it's COVID, et cetera, but it's more than the, it's more than the buildings. It continues to be the people. And now it's going on and it's more and more. I am more in love today than I was in 1992 when I arrived. And I didn't think that would be possible. I didn't think it could ever happen. So when I tell you, when I tell all of the alum, when I tell everybody, you know, because I've asked people, my cousin who just donated, he went to Florida State. I'm like, no, we need some HBCU money. And so that's what we need to do. And so I am so proud and so pleased with all the work that's going on and all of the, the leadership and who's doing everything. So it's amazing. It is an amazing experience. Well, it is amazing to be here, Dr. Janine Fleming. We surely thank you so very much for all that you do and you continue to do. And may God continue to bless you and your family. And we love Sydney. And um, we're just looking forward to seeing you back on the campus when COVID goes away. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. And we love you all, too. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right. That was Dr. Janine Fleming. I'm telling you, wow, we've got some wonderful alums, students. And listen, we're coming to the close of our uh, time right now. We're going to come back at drive time at five o'clock. Five o'clock. want you to hear this, though. The total thus far, $12,241.50. And guess what? We are still counting. So we want to thank you. Thank you, Michael Flowers for being with us this whole time. Uh, President Warmack, we want to thank you. Christopher Key, all of the students that have showed up, Chelsea Williams out in San Diego, we want to thank you. Fat Boy, thank you. I know you're going to take us on out of here. Ms. Zelda Lee, our alumni director, Mr. Marcus Burgess, our interim uh, vice, uh, vice president of Institution Advancement, George Johnson, vice president of communications and marketing, uh, all of uh, Angel Oliver, uh, Major Gifts, uh, Manager of Gifts, and, and Miss Andrea Grant. Uh, I'm talking everybody, Reverend Lingard, Mrs. Watson, everybody that's been here, Miss Glover, all of you all. So Mr. Kirkland and Miss Brianna Kelly, thank you all so, so very much. And listen, this is not the end. Remember now, just because we're going off the air for a little bit doesn't mean that you cannot continue to give. Justgiving.com, you see it at the bottom. Please continue to give your gifts and help support Claflin University and our, our students here at Claflin University for student scholarships. All right, will you do that for us? Listen, DJ Fat Boy, take us on out. Bye, everybody. Five o'clock, drive time, Jay Dukes. Class of 2010 is coming at you.
Yeah, these last five minutes, I'm gonna take you out with this music. Make sure you keep gifting, keep giving them donations. Let's go. Come home late, it seems you barely beat the sun. Tapping my shoulder, thinking you gon' get you some. Smelling like some fragrance that I don't even wear. So if you want some love, and I suggest you go back there. Well, you can't find day to day with you. It's always something else working my nerve. God knows that I don't deserve what you put me through. Cause I've been so true to you. For you to come at me with another lame excuse. See, I've it off I wanna know your name, man. I wanna know if you got a man. I wanna know. I wanna know everything. I wanna know your number and if I can come over and I wanna know what you like. I wanna know so I can do it all night. But you're telling me I'm just a friend. Don't forget, we're right back at it at 5 o'clock. Oh, baby, you. Oh, baby, you. Got what I need. Got what I need. But you say I'm just a friend. Tag a friend, make sure you share. Challenge them to give a donation. Fantasy. But you say I'm just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Got what I need. The goal is 50,000. I want to know you in and out I want to know what you're all about I want to know I want to know what makes you laugh I want to know about your past I want to know how you move I want to know so I can move too I want to know But you're telling me I'm just a friend Telling me I'm just a friend Oh baby you Got what I need Got what I need yeah. But you say I'm just a friend say I'm just But you a friend. say I'm just a friend Keep it on mind. We back at five o'clock. We going till seven. Challenge your class. Challenge, challenge your sorority fraternity. Make sure they give them donations. You remind me of a love that I want to do. Is it a dream or is it a job? I just had to let you know. So I had to sing it. But you, boy, I don't know. And the way you walk and the way you talk. The way you move and you remind me of you of the way you dress and We're gonna give another total before we get up out of here though and You really like to prove it and you remind me yes you do you Please make sure you keep giving Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Listen, we've got a new total, folks. The new total is 22,000, 20, I'm sorry, $23,000. 23,247 dollars and 30 cents. Yes, we are doing it we are doing it thank you so much we're gonna head on out of here dj take it on out thank you Enough. 
Get me back at five o'clock. Make sure you tag a friend. Make sure you share and let them know to make sure they get that gift. We go until seven. We gotta reach fifty thousand. Don't forget, make sure you check back in, 5 o'clock, 5 to 7, keep giving though.